Okay, here's some practice problems with order of operations. So I'm gonna get out the way, let you guys like copy all these down and give it a shot. So there it is. Please copy them down, pause the video, and do your best. Okay, so let's see if you guys got the answers right. All right, so number one, we're deciding between subtraction and addition. And so I got um, subtraction and addition right here. Just want you guys to remember that add and subtract are always gonna go left to right. That's what I typically put on uh, my notes so that you guys know that you should not be adding right here. Because if you add three plus four, you're gonna get the problem wrong. So make sure you understand that when you got subtraction and addition and you have to decide, you, you understand that these guys are equal in uh, importance. So just go straight left to right. So five minus three is two, and two plus four gives you the answer of six. So that's the answer to number one. I hope you guys got it right. Let's keep going. You cannot go left to right on number two because multiply and divide, which is also a pair, that they're equal in importance, but they're always more important to do than add and subtract. So I always tell the kids, make sure add never goes ahead of divide or multiply. So over here, we would multiply first because of PEMDAS. Multiply and divide always beats add and subtract. So that gives you six. And 6 plus 5 gives you the answer of 11. So the kids that would do it wrong, they would add first and get 7 times 3, and they would get 21. So that's the wrong answer. All right, so uh, number 3, um, I added a few more steps. we got to pick between subtraction, division, or addition. So taking a look at a PEMDAS, division is the most important. So you need to do this guy right here. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And now you got 9 minus 1 plus 2. And the thing you should do next is subtract because it's on the left. Subtract and addition are right here at the bottom of PEMDAS, and they go left to right. So 9 minus 1 is 8, and 8 plus 2 gives you the answer of 10. So hopefully that made sense. Now coming over here to number four, things get a little more complicated because there is no parentheses, but there is an exponent. So this guy needs to be prioritized. He's the most important thing to do. And three to the second power or three squared is the same thing as three times three. So you wind up with nine divided by nine plus six. And Make sure you um, divide first, because you don't, you don't want to do addition before you do division. You don't want to do addition before multiplication either. And so 9 divided by 9 is 1, and you finally get to get to 6 plus 1, and your answer is 7. Number 5, um, I see parentheses. So that's the first part of PEMDAS. So you need to subtract, and you get 3. And you bring down everything else. And then you want to decide, are you going to do this exponent? Are you going to divide? Or are you going to subtract? Well, the exponent goes next, which gives you 9. And 9 divided by 3 minus 1. And then division is more important than subtraction. And you wind up with 3 minus 1 with the final answer of 2. So I hope this is starting to make sense. Uh, number six is the one that um, I see the most mistakes on, but let's just pick it apart here. We got parentheses, and then we're going to want to do exponent, and then we're going to want to divide, and then we're going to want to add, and then we're going to want to subtract in that order. So parentheses is going first, and we get four. Now, the parentheses right here really have kind of disappeared. So, you're just going to take 4 to the second power. Make sure you rewrite everything. And now you're going to look for the next thing, which is exponent. X 
exponent right here, 4 to the second power is really 4 times 4, which gives you 16. And I rewrote everything. And now I'm going to move on to um, multiplication and division. And I do have division. These guys are a pair. So please don't add and don't subtract. Get the division knocked out. And now you got 4 minus 4 plus 10. And now you can go to add and subtract. And the addition is on the left. And you get 14 minus 4. And you get the final answer of 10. So I hope that all made sense. Um, kids just need a lot of practice with this stuff. And um, I hope you guys got most of your problems right. So. I'm um, lagging. <laughs>